You're the biggest band in the world. What three bands are opening for you? Biggest, biggest band, band in the world. Say, Foo Fighters got to be Foo one Fighters. Of those, right? Yeah, sick. Bruno. Bruno. One more. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ooh. And headlining is the Common King. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Bryce here with another episode of the Sugar Shack Podcast. Today, we're sitting down with homies JR and Mata from Common Kings. Give What's it up, everybody. Up? What up? We got a big old crew here tonight. Hey, talk about a welcome to me. Hello. <laughs> well, guys, this is your first time at the shack. How you feeling? Amazing. It's feeling great, bro. Yeah. It's so set up. You just see it on YouTube and, you know, it's different when you're here. It's, yeah. It's cool. It's yeah. much smaller than we thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we were, we I was on like a pre-pro call with some of y'all and we, you were talking about like, you know, the space and stuff and, and they were like, well, where is it? We were like, it's at a home, like a really tiny yeah. home. <laughs> and they were like, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I think you guys wanted to bring like some VIPs here or yeah, talking we were about it. Of having and you were like, hey, maybe we bring like 40 people. I was like, this <laughs> is 40 nope, people right here. Like, <laughs> Not possible. Of them is the film crew. <laughs> right. I was like, oh, geez. <laughs> Can't do anything. Yeah, but it's cool. It's intimate like oh, that. Oh, it's such you a know? vibe. It's perfect. Special. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, you guys killed your set in your session, man. Thank you guys Thank you. just for coming. Thank you, brother. I know you, you left Key West, right? Super late. And then you came super yeah. early here and yeah. crashed at a and b here during yep. that. That Airbnb was it's, real. It's, Isn't it great? It's now, money, if we dude. we Key West, we would have been in Bonita Springs sooner. Yeah. It's no, but Key West spot. was a vibe. I yeah. felt like I was in a different world. It's, it I is a know, different they just world. They just party. They do. Oh, man. And like people just Everyone. fucking go off the grid in Key West. <laughs> dude. Like last time we them? were there, like there was a guy talking to me and he was like, Wanted or something like by the IRS or we I don't know. I just hide now. And everything said it's adults wild, wild only. Yeah, adults only. The hair on. Oh yeah, bro. bro the, the hotel name was called Hair on Hotels. Hey man, if you want hair that hair on, on, you just gotta come to the Hair on Hotel. <laughs> Common Kings got that hair on. <laughs> They had no hair on, thankfully. You know? yeah. That's good. That's good. A couple people good. actually showed up. I was. It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, where, really where, where's, hair where's the hair on at? <laughs> I didn't know any hair. That's hilarious. Uh, you guys are on tour right now. Yes. We're slightly stupid. How's yep. that going? Summer traditions. Sucks. Tour? It sucks. sucks. <laughs> it's a horrible tour. We're not having any fun. These guys are droning. Uh. The band sucks. <laughs> Everything. No, it's terrible. It, is, it looks like it's been slamming. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's exactly. It's yeah. been amazing. It's been a uh, really awesome uh, first time touring with Stupid Boys, Pepper, yeah. and Fortunate Youth. So this is a big tour. This is like but, yeah, super right. groups. We, of we, a tour, I think right? we call it a Whoa. festival tour. All, yeah, it is. All four bands yeah, are headliner, like headliner bands, bands. Yeah. all on one tour. So it's it's, it's, it's massive. It's yeah. it's really fun, man. The guys are great. Everyone's and the camaraderie. Too. It's a family tour. Everyone's yeah, every everyone like everyone. Every band playing is so tight. You know, they're seasoned. They're yeah. like just in their element. Yeah. It's it's fucking epic. It's fun show. to watch, man. Yeah, absolutely. Be a part of, you know? Yeah. DK keeping y'all in line? All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, no. We want to know who's keeping DK <laughs> in line. Dude. No one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no one, That guy's a no, unicorn. Nobody no keeping one. in line. <laughs> Dude, I love it. He has his own set after the set and before the set. Yeah. He's amazing. He goes, man. No, he's he, awesome. he goes hard. One, one night, he's like chilling, and the other night, he's going head up with OG, like forward head to forehead. Oh, like, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys go at it. It's fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, and uh, just thinking about more updates, really quick. You guys just dropped a new single with Dirty yes. Heads. That's yeah. super cool. Tell me a little bit about that. Working heavy on water. That. Um, heavy yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, it's called Heavy Water. Um, yeah, man, we we're actually having writing sessions, and then um, how did how did Jared come over? We actually are in the middle of just wrapping up our album. We oh, have nice. a, a huge Can album. We've been in the that. studio for mm-hmm. fifteen months, and then. He came in and said, we, have a sh- we actually have a song with Jared, and so that's going to be released. And then Jared wanted to hear some of the new music, and he heard uh, what we were doing. He's like, oh, my God. He loved nice. it. And then he's like, dude, yeah. there's a song. We want to feature. Chronix was supposed to feature, but uh, he, I think he's doing something else. And then he, we heard it. We're like, yo, automatic. Yeah. And then one thing led to another. Two weeks later, we dropped it, flew to Red Rock, shot the music video. It was a wrap <laughs> and released awesome. it. 
Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. And that song is such a banger. Yeah, song. yeah it is. Such a banger. It, it was, the funny it thing is. is too, they said that that wasn't supposed to be the next single to be released. Uh-huh. But the boys loved the, that record so much, they like skipped two different drops. Like, no, we yeah. need to drop this one right Let's now. Let's make it happen now. Yeah, I was like, and we're both. It's from, a great sign that yeah. you're headed in the right direction. Yeah, and we're all Southern California natives, you know, yeah. by way of Hawaii. But Neighbors. they're from Huntington Beach. We now like reside in Orange County. That's our second home right now. So. Yeah. It, it just only worked out that the Juice County connection came through. So. <laughs> nice. Yes, sir. Great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, tell me a little bit more, I mean, about <clears throat> hometown, growing up. How did the band form? Like, tell give me back to the beginning of Common Kings. Yeah, we're all ri- originally from the islands, right? So Hawaiian, Samoan, Tongan, Fijian. Mm-hmm. Um, we, but we met at the in the island of Orange County. So yeah. uh, in Newport Beach, we're at uh, Uncle Louie's house. And that's kind of where we all met and started jamming together yep. and Sick. we're like we should be a band yeah. like every other Just band like right out there. <laughs> dude we should start a band right <laughs> no but i kind of knew everyone collectively when i moved from hawaii and i said dude these guys are super talented mm. and we just happened to be all polynesian we were the only Polynesians in Newport. Yeah. We stood out like a sore thumb. <laughs> but then we started jamming, and one thing led to another. We did this whole college circuit. We went to UC Irvine, so all of like the Southern California coast did all the the okay. battle of the bands, all these you know festivals, uh, and just started as a cover band. But from there, we just uh, realized a lot of the fans that we were growing and 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 that we were gaining. They said, "Dude, you guys should start writing your own songs." One thing led to another. We dropped alcoholic, wait in your water, no other love. Mm -hmm. And Hawaii, the 808 state, really helped put us in the map. So if it wasn't for 808 state, Hawaii, we love you guys. Um, That will always be our home away from home. They they really helped put Common Kings Mm -hmm. on the map and where we're at now. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Yep. Um, What have been, just as you guys have been growing, like milestone moments for you, moments that have stood out along your journey? Oh, like you said earlier, like our first album, yeah. yeah, our first debut, our debut album, 2017, Lost in Paradise. Mm-hmm. Um, we yeah. were nominated for a Grammy, man. You know, it was, yeah. it, it was our first one, and we brought the heavy hitters. You know, and we mm-hmm. wrote with the song songs with uh, Pooh Bear. Um, he he writes with uh, Justin Bieber and all them. You know, and then yeah. uh, we worked with the Audibles, uh, pro- amazing producers from um, LA as well. And wow, we linked up, got Grammy nominated, and and then since that moment, like we just been on a on a climb, man. Working working our asses off. Sick. So the album you're working on now is your second album, right? Your actual second yeah. full length album. Because yeah, you yeah. dropped a lot Officially. of music in between, right? Yes. We did. We we yeah. dropped some EPs, we dropped some singles. But this one, since COVID, you know, I think the music industry was one of the biggest industries that really just dropped. Hit, yeah. We we usually tour oh, yeah. seven to nine months out of the year. Mm-hmm. Then the pandemic happened, we were home for two and a half years. So we just basically two weeks we all like, all right, you cool, you cool, I'm not sick, I'm not sick, mm-hmm. all right, let's go to work. Let's get back Fifteen there. months nice. in the lab. We wrote over a hundred records of those hundred, we are going to release 22 songs, a double-sided album wow. featuring Common Kings, all new music. Yeah. So Fans are going to be stoked. Bro, we're really excited. We're very, dropping. very proud of this yeah. piece of work. Very. So we yeah. went in. We got some cool features as well. We got Ty Dollar on one of the songs. Oh, sick. Um, and then we have Pooh Bear. We have Jared, Jared on it, yep. um, the Audibles. And it's just a little bit of everything. I think it helps push the envelope on both sides of Common Kings. Still keeping true to you know the integrity Hardcore. of the common king so- sound mm-hmm. but still pushing the envelope and i yeah. think the fans are gonna love it nice they're gonna love it i mean you guys are sounding amazing i was actually at rise up in maryland mm-hmm. with the guys while they were filming and everything but i was working the merch booth so mm-hmm. i was slinging merch and shit but oh, i yeah, i could hear yeah. your set yeah. you know from there and i was like Damn, I was getting so excited, but I mean, you guys sound so good, and I know like the whole crew came back from that set, and they were like, "Yo, they're on fire! We can't wait for session," you know. So, yeah, okay. I mean, it's just cool to hear you guys growing in your sound, and I mean, bringing a lot of energy to the crowd. It's just it's cool to see everybody responding you know to your what was music. Cool about that show was that Maryland, we just re- released our own single called "Damn Good Time," yeah. mm-hmm. um, which if you haven't got it, you gotta get it. It's gonna it's the first single off the new album, and, but we, we played it there. For first time live at maryland so we were like nervous and like, okay how, does really? how are they gonna see receive how, yeah, exactly. it but yeah. man they received it so well that's and, dope uh, we're performing it live everywhere now there were some hardcore fans in maryland oh, dude, right yeah. like people I was surprised. showed up i know and we're in it and i was, was like awesome. wow dude we had people come into the shack 
tent that had fucking Sugar Shack tattoos, like what? on their back. Wow. It was not. I mean, the. I think that's, yeah, <laughs> I have no space. Yeah. <laughs> but that was like the level right of like fan fan level we experienced there that's at that. Cool. That's when you know it's real, dude. It's real, bro. Yeah, have bro. you seen people get common king tattoos? Yeah, on? they get common the crown kings? on their the crown. Oh, that's yeah, there's sick, a lot of though. people with the crown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kings yes. and queens. <laughs> wow. okay. The boys are sweating. Hey, where's my rag person, dude? Do I need a rag person? <laughs> okay. Oh, are we? Have we not been getting any audio on it? Oh, we did. Oh, true that. Am I talking too loud? The mic's breaking. Your voice is breaking the mic. While Barrett's getting that ready, maybe you can start, JR. Um, what do you guys feel like, you know, I mean, you've been a band for a while now. Yeah. You know, you've been committed to it for a while. You're experiencing some sec- success in it. What do you feel like have been some of, like, the greatest challenges maybe along the way? Like, um, kind of like, I mean, growing just, pain moments. Just, I like, I think in every group there's there's – block it like writer's block or whatever like yeah. musically it just not you're not because you're doing it so much and like in it like you're not always gonna find it you know what i mean so it's like yeah trying to just trying to take a different approach you mm-hmm. know and um i think with this new album we've Definitely done. What that. helped spark some of that for y'all? Uh, like, what was you know? Like, I, I feel that sometimes you get stale on a project or a song or yeah. whatever. You just go through these stretches where you're not writing at all, and you're like, "Am I ever going to write a song again?" You know what I mean? And then it starts to come yeah, back. And what's you know? cool is that we also work with amazing writers, yeah. artists, producers. So having that exchange yeah. is always helpful for us. Yeah, you know? yeah. absolutely. We've, we've noticed writing with different writers, and co-writers, and just kind of collabing together really has a whole different perspective in yeah. a song. You would never think that. And then you just bounce some ideas. That really, really does help. And the people, luckily, that we work with, they're like, let's get the best song possible. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not like, everybody's in it together. Out. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Pump some shit out. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is great. This yeah. is yeah. when authentic music comes Absolutely. out, when totally. everybody's engaged. and yep. You'll just know. Right. a good time, you're rolling 45 minutes. Sick. It just <laughs> happened. We wrote like a bunch of records. Sometimes those are the best, man. Bro. Sometimes those are the best. And it yeah. was, it wasn't even, that session wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. Management's like, you know what? We just got to focus on He's like, just give me one more chance and we <laughs> knock it out the park. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Really good about it. That's awesome, man. It was a damn good time at the studio. It was a damn yeah. good it was time. A damn good session, with some damn good vodka. <laughs> yeah, tell us about oh. your vodka deal. Oh. What's yes. going on? I mean, how much time do you have? I mean, we got a little bit of time. <laughs> so you've got this Uncle Ed. Yes, Uncle, Uncle Ed. Oh, and it's called vodka. Gan- damn good vodka. Like yes. the damn, damn good time. time. Holy a little shit. plug in with the damn good time. Uncle Ed's damn okay. good vodka. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> no, uh, we met. One of our good friends, Walt, his brother is Uncle Ed, and he was a, a, an environmental chemist that lived in the islands, grew up in, it. yeah, and he fell in love with the culture, the people in the big island, and everything the you're land. tasting was everything that he made and produced on the land that he lived by. So basically, they everyone throws the aloha, you know, Hawaii gives so much aloha. But he loved the, the 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 community and the culture and the people so much that he wanted to give back aloha. So he just passed away actually almost a year ago. Oh wow! Um, so he looks at it like you know what, Uncle Ed's. Walt said he lost a brother but gained a nation of brothers, and now we're kind of considered ambassadors, and we actually now co-owners and partners with it, and we own this vodka. Oh wow! And the biggest yeah. thing is just kind of creating event advantages and movement this is to help give back Mm -hmm. to the polynesian community the native hawaiian community so you know everyone's true because you do extend a lot right Right. i mean people come and enjoy whatever they want to enjoy yeah Yeah. it's about time for us to give back to them so we felt like this is a great partnership that makes sense because we're of polynesian descent jr Mm -hmm. is 60 percent hawaiian that's like a unicorn you won't find that Wow. You know what I mean? Why is that? I mean, just, oh, just it's because just, it's just people moving in over time and just... Yeah, what? people moving out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> people <laughs> no, moving in, is. people moving out. Yeah. There's not too many Hawaiians anymore. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 
And so for that, we felt like we can really connect with Uncle Ed's yeah. and the whole advancing and the movement to I get back. I didn't know that. I mean, that's discouraging. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean be- being like either, what, bought out of the land or like yep. somehow forced off because they can't even afford it themselves. Right, the cost yeah. of living. The cost right. of living. They can't afford it. Yeah, so it's our, our chance to, to give back and, and help with these situations. Yeah. And you'll see the connection and the partnership within the next few years. Yeah. And then we're just pushing the narrative to help out, you know, to give Programs, back to the community. That's Education. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. All of it. Oh, go ahead. Damn good vodka. Go get sick. it, guys. Here, here. Sick, sick, sick. All right. We got some uh, fan uh, Q&As. Um, it's my somebody favorite. from Instagram asked, what's the favorite city that you've been to? Ooh. Are we talking U.S. or? I think just in general, in general. all time, right? I mean, that's come hard. on. I always pick Japan, man. Japan is Japan? Yeah. Cool. Jeez, bro. Tokyo, yeah, bro. It. It's not I've been there. Yeah, that place Japan is cool, is, bro. Like, from like culture to, cool. to people, they, the food, to respect the food. to the food. I yeah. mean, yeah. we eat, yeah respect so. culture. It's different. Yeah. I remember I've done like I've I've gone to Asia and stuff and and done trips there and then come back and you come back and like you fly into like New Jersey or like <laughs> Philadelphia <laughs> and you feel like you're being like herded like cattle. Yeah, you know what I mean, and they're like this way, and they're yelling at you, and like I just came from Japan, and they're all like bowing. Yeah, they're like so at the nice. security like line. Times, and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Have a nice night. You know? yeah. That's great. I yeah. wish, I wish we had some of yeah. that in our in our culture oh, and society. And it's so but clean there. It is so clean. It is clean. It's, Tokyo has no trash. I'm like tripping. I know. It's nice. It's mine would have to be New Zealand. We oh, we cool. headlined the One Love Festival. When, what year was that? Twenty. 2016, 17. And then you got to imagine, they're all Maoris. They're all Polynesian, um, Polynesian as well. But it was like uh, Woodstock. Mm-hmm. You land in Auckland, and then you take all these charter buses three hours away, just oh in gosh. the middle of nowhere. And these people, and it's in the middle. In New Zealand. Yeah, yeah in New, New Zealand. Zealand. And in Rotorua, and Beautiful. it's just all farmland. Whoa. And people just go there and party for the weekend. Nothing else but drink, smoke, and watch live music. I was like, this yeah. is amazing. And everyone looked like us. There was 25,000 people, and I couldn't even see. I don't, really don't get nervous on, on stage, but, dude, I couldn't see the end of it. And it was just all Maoris, and they were just, they, we, we headlined it. And they're what so gave me chills it. was that right when we were done with the set, they all stopped, and they all did the haka. Thousands of thousands of people. Bro. It was eerie, insane. but it was insane. And Whoa. they all did it all like, in tune. And just like, bro, like, for us, just to show respect for us being there. And they're wow. just like, they were showing their love. And I was like, dude, that was one of the coolest moments That's that true. I've ever experienced. Man. That was, That's super yeah, cool. That was way better that than was Japan. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> no, what? Japan was awesome. What am I saying? <laughs> no way. That was cool. Oh, man. It's so funny. Uh, somebody else asked, "What? Um, how did you name the band? Like, where did it come from?" Craigslist. Craigslist. Bro, no. back then it was all everything all was Craigslist. on Craigslist. Uncle Louis, he's the band leader. My everything space. we found, yeah, gigs, keyboardists, haircuts, all Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Local barbers. Yeah, yeah. Your, the band name came from Craigslist. No, <laughs> just kidding. Actually, Jr. and I kind of came up with it. We had a few names. We won't talk about it, but nah, Common Kings was it. Thank those. God that we. we I got to hear one. Kings. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it was uh, one of them was uh, Roy G. Biv. <laughs> we didn't agree on that. Yeah, it was someone uh, just mentioned it, just said it. Suggestion. I was just throwing out ideas. Hey, you just seeing what sticks, it back bro. In my face. You're just dancing. Back, yeah. You know, before we did Common Kings, we were like a cover band, right? So we did all kind of Everything, genres. Bro. And, so that and, one was. And we're covers. heavy in the the R and B and and yeah. vibe stuff. So we're like soul fix and like yeah, soul fix is kind of cool. Yeah, that's it's what I thought. Cool. It's Apparently right. didn't work. I out. mean, Common Kings is yeah, right. Is it. Common Kings yeah. is it? So yeah, we're one night we're at we're just finishing practice yeah. and um, we're standing outside the studio as we always do, talking about whatever. And then we're like, the we, need, world. we need a we need a name or something. <laughs> yeah, we need something. And uh, uh, I had said com- Commons Commonwealth. And, yeah. Or you said Commonwealth. I said Commonwealth. And, and I said like King something. something King, King yeah. something. We had. It's been suggested yeah, before, but. but so, yeah, we were like, yeah, common kings. And it made know? sense because where we come from of our island descent, Native, we, I have a long line of high chiefs, paramount chiefs. Um, in Tonga, they still practice a monarchy. Aside from England, they're the only other island in oh, the wow. whole world they that practices kings, a monarchy. Yeah, so we all kings. come from, you know, royal, royal lineage, yep. but still within everybody, we're just common people, hence yeah. common kings. Wow. Yeah. 
spot. Sick. Um, somebody else asked. Um, all right. Oh, this actually comes from Greg, Chef Greg. Chef Greg. All right, Chef Greg. Chef Greg. Chef Greg also runs a, a reggae or music discovery podcast in St. Pete. So this is one of the questions he throws the bands sure. that he talks to. But you're the biggest band in the world. What three bands are opening for you? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a live? Question. Live. Oh, okay. Three biggest, biggest bands in the world. Foo Fighters got to be Foo one Foo Fighters. Of those, right? Yeah, sick. Bruno. Bruno. One more. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, oh, that's a cool, that's a cool vibe. <laughs> and 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 headlining is the Common King. <laughs> <laughs> People who that's get the whole, like, that that whole, whole vibe. whole yeah, vibe. Mix like, of genres. Like, who do they think they are? Here? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's yeah. awesome. Um, There's so many more though. Yeah, well, one was... one word that best describes each band member. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, it's well, this is better. I think uh, we we one time we were so Avengers hard everything, and then you had like superhero it. names. So or we something. were like, "Yo, oh, squad. oh yeah, the whole yeah. squad was like, like all right, that. cool. Who do you think? What character? What you know? Actual superhero? You think you are? So we all did a th- thing consensus. So Jr. is um, what do you call Captain America? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Uncle Louie is Bruce Banner, <laughs> the Hulk. Okay. He's like, you know what I mean? Fucking in his head, but he's like, when he, oh, the hair, the everything. <laughs> Jerome is Thor because of his sticks, and that's his, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's his hammer. And then I'm uh, obviously Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. obviously yeah. uh, I'll be Tony Stark's. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a better way that's to describe good. who For we sure. are. That's good. That's fun. And together yeah. we are the common, the common bandits. Kings. The common bandits. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Uh, anything else, guys, that you'd like to share? Or? Uh, oh. Dude, we love you guys. Sugar yeah, Shack, thank you so much thank for having us out. Uh, we look forward to the next one. You know, let's, let's take it international. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. And make sure you look out for the album, Damn Good Time, we just dropped. And yeah, well, do you, do you have a release date for your new album? Yeah, sometimes in this near future. No, no. <laughs> we're looking at the end of the year to okay, drop nice. in it, and we'll be rolling out singles leading yep. into that as well. Nice. So we're awesome. excited for that, man. Super stoked for you guys to hear it, man. There's yeah, yeah we're excited. a lot Absolutely. for everyone. Awesome. JR, Mata, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you guys for listening. Live yeah. audience, thanks for hanging Let's out. Go. We got a bus call. Make sure we got a bus call to catch. Make sure you're following us on uh, social media, following Common Kings yep. on social media. Yep. Uh, share this, like it, subscribe to YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time on another episode of the Sugar Shack Podcast. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. boom. Swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yeah, 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 y